Davis here with Music Marketing TV. Today we're going to be looking at God Phaser. Specifically, we're going to understand the routing of how God Phaser works. So I have here a C major 7 chord. It is just a bunch of saw waves. That's what it sounds like. And let's go, let's toss a God Phaser on it. So this is God Phaser. God Phaser has three components to it. It's got an ensemble. This is where you get all your phasey goodness. It's got a multi-filter and it's got a modulator. And the modulator connects to the multi-filters. Depending on the mode, it'll control different things. But it's pretty much always something to do with the frequency control uh, or it messes with like how the peaks are spread out in some of these other modes because there's a lot of like kind of special modes. Um, so anyways, God Phaser goes after phasiness. So there's two ways to traditionally do this. You do it with some sort of a chorus. There's also some neat tremolo stuff in here. Um, or you do it with some sort of a filter that will cause a lot of just phasey madness to happen. So with these two ways of doing things, we need ways to connect all these parts up. That's where the routing page comes in. So right now, our current routing, it goes into the ensemble. The ensemble goes to the first multi-filter right here, and then it goes to the second multi-filter right here. So if I have the volume off on any one of these stages, we won't hear anything. So if I hit play, we get nothing because the volume is off and they're routed directly into each other. Uh, there's another way to bypass these things. If you come in and click, you might think if you click bypass up here that it'll skip this stage, but, but that's not how it works. Uh, right now the volume's up, so we'll hear something. It's, it's just skipping this multi-filter, but if I turn this down, you might think, oh, it's bypassed, it won't do anything. But if we go ahead and play, we get nothing. So even if this says bypass, it will still affect the routing. So just be aware of that. It's something that uh, you might think the other way, but no, it still definitely matters. I mean, you'll figure it out pretty fast if you try it. So anyways, yeah, so we're going into our ensemble. Our ensemble has some volume. Then it goes into the multi-filter. Multi-filter's got some volume. And then the second multi-filter's got some volume. So we hear the output. There are different modes we can do this in. Like we can have the ensemble feed each multi-filter in parallel. So in this configuration, the ensemble's on, but now I could have the multi-filter off on one of these and the other one will still work. So if that's what we wanted, we do not use the volume to do it. This should really just be for like different mixing, like gain staging type stuff, um, where you, you need to change your routing if that's how you want it to behave. So now it'll work. So we could bring it in. This works basically as bringing in the dry sound now if that's something that we want to do. So that is, you know, how the routing works. So let's look at another one. In this sense, we've got our input. It comes into multi-filter one, and then it goes into multi-filter two. So the two multi-filters are in series now, and we get our ensemble output. So let's remove the ensemble output. So if I take multi-filter one out, like it is right now, we should not hear anything. Just ignore the ensemble. I turned it off. So we get nothing. I can bring this in individually, like so. And if I have two off, but one is on, we still won't hear anything. We need both to be on since they're in series. So that's the routing page. And you, you would pick this if you want to say, for example, maybe we don't want the ensemble. Maybe we just want to use it as a multi-filter configuration. Uh, we could do so. Uh, probably if you want everything independent, the most useful one is this all parallel setup. So now we could have each each thing is basically an independent unit. Ensemble will, will come out independently. The multi-filter will come out and the uh, other multi-filter will. So if we, for example, have, you know, everything off just to begin, we can bring in things like so, like so, and like so. So hopefully you're beginning to understand this. Let's go through the last few since we're already here. This is all serial. Uh, when you load it up, the Butter Notes After All preset uses this one. Um, so it does some ensemble stuff. Then it hits the filters and does some weird stuff with that. Over here, we can have the ensemble go into the first multi-filter, and then the second one can be added as another layer. So we could do something independent. And then finally, at the end, we have our multi-filter, and this feeds the ensemble and the other multi-filter in parallel. So it hits this stage first, and then it goes through the ensemble and this one in parallel. So you can experiment with them. Uh, if you are like, wanna check to make sure you understand how the routing is, I would turn volume knobs all off on everything and then look at the chain and say, okay, according to this, if I turn off multi-filter one, nothing else should get signal. 
So if we have this up and we have this up, but this is down, the multi-filter one is down, then it shouldn't work. And it doesn't, if we turn this on, lo and behold, we hear it. And it also means that if this is on, we should be able to turn these off independently and we'll still get sound. So if we take this, we can still hear sound, turn this back on, turn that off, we still get sound. So that's the routing page. The routing page, I honestly think can be a little intimidating at first if you're like new to looking at routing and you're used to using presets and not like worrying about this kind of stuff. But these components are so useful individually that it's, it's worth just really quick understanding. It's not super complicated or anything. So let's go for the all uh, parallel stage real quick here and just look at some of the options we have. So let's say that I wanna take this and make this a big thick chord. I'm gonna go for coarse spacey. I kinda like that one. Let's turn these two off as we build the patch just to sort of demonstrate our routing here. So right now it's playing. Yeah, and it's real nice. Let's go, let's bring it down some since we're gonna bring in these other two layers independently. And now let's go into our multi-filter one and just pick a cool thing. Like maybe we'll go for a one pole filter. Or let's go for three peaks. Let's go Fraser three peaks. So the only thing I haven't talked about is the modulator. We're gonna do a separate video on how the modulator itself works, but the modulator, what we can do here is let's just have it have some sweeping as it moves around. So it's going to move these peaking filters around and that's gonna be done with these modulator options. So there's two modulators and you simply bring them in by turning this on. There's a bunch of settings for them that we're gonna worry about. There's like a sequencer a follower and then you can have it be a constant, which I find can be quite fun to modulate and just have direct control over. Uh, you know, you would use your DAW for that. But anyways, we're gonna take this, we're gonna take, we're gonna ignore mod two. So if you want mod two to come in, you can do so here. Well, we're just gonna use mod one for this. They combine together. If you if you look in the manual, there's actually like a signal diagram. They control the same thing. Uh, so let's go, let's bring this in and just have it move. Oh, and we need to bring the volume up because I was like, I'm not hearing anything. So let's just go ahead and dial that up. Let's have it be a bit louder than this just so we hear what we're doing a bit better. Dial it back, find a better spot. So I have it sit right around there. That's pretty nice. And then we can bring in a second filter movement. So here we have another filter movement. This one's EQ peak. Maybe we go for some form of low pass just to reinforce and not have so much high end. So let's go this dial this in. And now when we play chords, well, let's pick a higher note here. And let's say that, hey, we want everything to get the flavor of the ensemble on it. We don't want them to be all independent. Maybe we're interested in that. Well, we could go ensemble and then feed each one independently and you get that sound. So if we were to pick a more aggressive sound like uh, the chorus wide here, and let's bring this up some, because this now acts more like a master volume control. And we could try out our different algorithms and have this be the main flavor. We could have them come out independent. And for example, maybe we want the, the ensemble. I wanted to say the chorus but maybe we want the ensemble to be the independent, but we want this like peaking stuff to interact with each other. So we could put the filters in series instead. And you get a very different sound that way because now these, this is not gonna have so much influence over it. And we would wanna, you know, dial and regain stage this some. So it's important to understand your routing so you can pick exactly the flavor you're gonna go after. So we're gonna, be looking at going after more specific patches after we talk about the modulator, because the modulator is such a key player in doing things like making a really wide spacey chord patch or making a very funky bass line um, without having to have a filter in your original patch. You could add this on, you could add God Phaser, 
and just have it sort of follow the sound for you and create a really, really nice sort of uh, talk box effect or that's not really the right move. A, fil a really residency filter movement that matches effect. It's not like a vowel filter or anything. Uh, but anyways, that is um, the routing page. Hopefully you're comfortable with this and you can now move on to some more advanced concepts like layering sounds and giving these things jobs and understanding how they can sort of talk to each other. Routing will be at the core in the other videos and I'm just gonna sort of do it. So you wanna understand you know, really well how this works. If you have any questions, feel free to drop them down below in the comments. Subscribe and hit that bell icon for future videos and have a blessed day. Thank you.